Hi everybody, this is AJ with Car Inspected. Today we're in the Toronto area and we're looking at this 2009 Lexus IS250 all-wheel drive in gray, grayish black. That's gray. It's a little dirty, so it's kind of hard to tell. But overall it's in decent shape. It's a couple of nicks and bruises. Uh, I will get the mileage eventually, but the gonna have to skip all the parts that I need a key for for now The owner is inside the building and we'll be out in a little bit But I want to take the video and get that over with I'll add everything else I need in the reports and pictures There's a dent. This is the passenger side uh, Between the door and the fender there There's another little dent on the top of this fender as well Uh, there's another ding on the roof here and according to paint thickness verification there has been some paint work in this left quarter panel uh, this area here in the dog leg is fairly thick so there's been a little bit of a little bit of repair there and uh, paint has been blended here in the door but other than that all the panels seem to be original coating and thickness all the lights everything is in good shape doesn't appear to be anything broken, anything like that. I uh, checked all the windows. They are all original. With no signs of nicks or any issues with them. No chips, all Lexus, here we go. Lexus, while we're here, there's a VIN verification, 28165. And we can see in the door that this does match. So we are good there. Look at the, up oh, there's some scuffing also here in the driver's side, right before the front wheel. Other than that, the fascia is in pretty decent shape. I don't see any major issues. Of course, there are some uh, rock chips, things like that, but nothing too major. I don't see any broken pieces, anything like that. Lights are good little little yellowed but uh, nothing too bad and the hood is equipped with uh, protective coating in the front I see no major issues with the hood look at the tires real quick the wheels are they have a little bit of this one has a little bit of curb rash present as you can see uh, they are all equipped with the wheel lock which I will ask the owner if he has it I did not see it but uh, there are a lot of things in the car I don't want to go through his stuff rotors are pretty decent they look like they're not too old there's no lip on them or anything like that uh, the front pads I'd say there's I'd say like 50% left on those pads so they're not too bad the tires are all produced in uh, 2018 uh, they are all matching as well the treads look pretty good nice even tread wear no issues it's about 830 seconds so the tires are, are pretty good. Go around to the passenger side front. So this rim is in similar shape to the other with a little bit of curb rash present uh, and a little dirty. This tire and here's a little chewed up. Um, doesn't look like it's overly damaging. It's just kind of the, the bumper there, but it is a little chewed up. Also produced in 2018. There we go. And uh, treads are pretty good in this tire as well. No real issues. And uh, we are at 830 seconds on this tire as well. So it is matching. Brakes, similar story to the other side. Rotors are pretty good. And the pads are now 50% or so. And it's, nope, wrong position for the wheels. While we're here, we look underneath, and we don't see, don't find any real issues with the suspension components. Nothing looked damaged or broken. Uh, I also don't notice any wet, any leaking, any issues under here. Pretty good, and I don't see any any issues with rust. Not finding any on the undercarriage, or on the bottom of the doors, anything like that. 
haven't found any rust on the vehicle. Now we're to the rear right tire. This one has a good amount of curb rash, bit beat up, as you can see. I don't see any structural damage to the rim, but it is pretty beat up. This tire is the matching Evergreen. Uh, as you see, there's another little, little chunks out of the sidewall from hitting curbs or whatever. Uh, where is the date? Oh, there's the date code right there, 2018. We are good. Treads, same as the rest of the vehicle, they are pretty nice. With uh, 830 seconds on these as well. So 830 seconds all the way around. I don't see any any major damage or rust uh, in this dog leg area. It must have been a a hit in here. Look at the last tire real quick. And we find matching. Again, just like the rest. Matching Evergreen built in 2018 with about 8.30 seconds of tread. Also nice even tread wear. So I don't see any signs of alignment issues, anything like that. The rear brakes, uh, they don't look too bad. These ones are a little, if possibly heated up a little, you can see. But they're pretty new, so they're probably not too bad. The pads are also new. Not brand new, but uh, you can see that I'd say there's probably 65%, 70%. At least, maybe more. They're pretty new. Uh, the other side is the same. Forgot to show you the brakes over here. Same thing, rotors, pretty good shape. As well as those pads. Uh, like I said, fairly new. Oh, can't look in the trunk. The trunk is, I'm going to ask the owner to remove some of his stuff when he gets back. Because uh, it is filled with things. From what I can see, there's no real issues. But uh, I said I don't want to go through all this guy's stuff, so we'll have to ask him to look at it in a little bit. But there's no rust in the trunk. As you see, it's in nice shape. No major issues. We uh, go to the interior. We start in the back, which is pretty good. It's all a little dirty, but the owner did state that he will have the vehicle detailed before uh, before it goes. So uh, floor mats, three out of four in this bag the other one i think is under there's there's all season mats and the other one is under the driver's side i believe i will double check that but they are original lexus mats in the bag it looks like they've barely ever been used the seats are in good shape i don't see any real wear and tear on these back ones uh, again a little dirty but no major issues Definitely need a good cleaning. This center console for the back does work fine. No real issues. Cup holders are there, everything works. Floors are good. Carpets are in good shape. Uh, carpets, no issues. They're not wet or anything like that. Go around to the passenger side of the rear, and we find the door panel is in good shape. No rips or tears, any issues like that. There is some white corrosion, it looks like, in the rear window here. Uh, I don't quite know what that is. It almost looks like like a battery when it corrodes, but it might have just been slopped from uh, whatever was in here. 
And this side of the seat is in good shape as well. Don't see any issues other than some dirt here and there. Headliner is nice. No stains, no rips, no tears. Back of the seat. Just some kick marks, things like that. A little rip right there. Oh, this weather strip here. It's also a little, uh, little torn up, broken up, as you can see. It's kind of peeling. See, driver's side front, I mean the passenger side door. No real issues. As well as the passenger side front seat. In good shape. No rips or tears, anything like that. Floors are in good condition. Again, the Lexus all season floor mats are in place. Floors are good, no rips or anything. The glove box works just fine. The manual is in here. Uh, all the paperwork needed. Again, I will ask him about the tire lock because I don't want to go through all the stuff in that glove compartment there. But overall, interior is in pretty good shape. Go around to the driver's side. And we find a door panel that is in good shape. Nice and bright out today. But a little skiff, kick scuff marks, but nothing major. A couple of scrapes on here. On the driver's side seat, as you can see, there is a little bit of wear here on the bolster, starting to show through. But for the most part, the seat is in pretty good shape. No real issues. Dashboard looks good. Nothing's broken or cracked. All looks pretty good. Decent shape. These covers do work as you can see. Uh, this one as well. Armrest is good. Slide out. Everything works. Uh, I don't see any real big wear and tear. a little scuff right here on the steering wheel. But for the most part, it looks like it's in pretty good shape. A little scuff there as well. But overall, no real issues. Cluster looks good. Uh, once I get the keys, I will start it up and see if everything works, things like that. I will take pictures as well, and we'll find out the mileage. Again, with keys, I will, I will make sure all the electronics work. Uh, all these work just fine. Again, with no stains, no real dirt, anything like that. Small, small stain right there on the sunroof cover, but nothing major. Sunroof looks good, no, not broken, anything like that. I'm gonna take a quick look under the hood. So here we have the Lexus V6 clad in plenty of plastic doesn't look like an engine looks like a matchbox car but it is under there again hood nice shape no rust i've found any signs of real rust or anything like that on this vehicle which is good the look at the engine real quick you see it's pretty clean uh for what it is it, I don't see any major leaks, any damage. Belts are pretty good shape. It's hard to see maybe with this, but 
There we go. Uh, so, yep, the belts are pretty good. I don't see any rips or tear, I mean, you know, any uh, rubs, any issues, anything like that. Uh, I tested your battery. I haven't tested it running yet, but uh, sitting here, he just pulled it in. It is at uh, about 13 volts, so it is completely charged up. Uh, I will I will test it and picture it once he comes back and we can run it. Tested your oil right there. It does look good, nice and uh, clean. And it came back with a green light, so nothing is needed at this point. I cannot test your coolant because the vehicle is hot at, since he just got off the road. Uh, I don't smell any coolant or see any issues, anything like that though. Tested the brake fluid and we are at... Um, 1% uh, humidity, which is just fine. 